Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today's the 6th of February, and uh, this is a very specialized thing that I want to talk about. This has to do with um, state a state affair that's going on here, but I just feel like it's so outrageous. Um, there's at least a thousand of you that are going to hear what I say, and um, I hope that you'll you'll spread this, because this is a a very tragic thing that has happened. And you don't have to take my word for it. You can go on the internet and you can uh, research this and you'll find out the same thing. There is a part of this that you may not get on the internet, but I seem to have uh, gleaned this because I know these people and I know how they operate and uh, what types of individuals they are. But I, somebody sent me an article, actually it was on Facebook, and it's uh, from our illustrious Attorney General Bill Schutte. Now, um, you, you recall that Bill Schutte uh, was instrumental in um, working us over when it came to uh, he defended the state against us. Remember, we sued the state for clarification of their invasive species order, which isn't over, and, um, and claimed that his responsibility was to defend the state. That is completely wrong. He was not elected by the state. He would defend the state only if the state were sued by the Fed, by the federal government. That's when he should step in. However, he is elected by the people to protect us from these departments. Okay. Now, what's happened is in Flint, Flint, Michigan, you've probably heard about this on national news, a lot of people have become very, very sick. Long-term health effects, there's been at least 10 people die from Legionnaire's disease, um, over 100 people have become hospitalized with Legionnaire's disease. Very, very bad. It was known of uh, for a long, long time, and they tried to cover it up. They were trying to play beat the clock. Uh, it was a water issue. They were going to put a pipeline out to Lake Huron, uh, and so to save money, they quit buying it from from Detroit. And then they, in the meantime, three years, they were going to just suck it out of the, uh, the Flint River. And put it in the homes of the people who live in Flint. Very bad thing to do, very irresponsible, and it falls squarely on the shoulders of the top guy, and that is the governor of the state, uh, Rick Snyder. Now, he's under a lot of fire right now. People want him out. And I think that would be a good thing. He should probably step down and be a man about it and take the responsibility for what his administration did. Right? I don't think he will, because his track record is not too be a man about things, so I don't think you will. But the problem that I have, right, that, that I think people need to see is this article right here that came out. Okay, just with those headlines, if you freeze frame it and then find those headlines, you can read this article. Okay, uh, Schutte has said for years now that his responsibility is to defend the state, right, against us, I guess. So when I sued the DNR, he was right there to defend the DNR. As a matter of fact, he even piled on. It was his office that uh, fined us a $700,000 uh, fine, tried to get a county judge to enforce it and all that stuff. They're, really what they're trying to do is just scare us, and it didn't work. But that was definitely from Shooty's office, right? Now, I've gone around and I've said, look, this is who this guy is. He talks Constitution. He says he's a constitutional attorney general. But then his office finds a citizen $700,000. Eighth Amendment, U.S. citizens are free from excessive fines, cruel and unusual punishment. Very clear. But he does nothing to reel it in. Almost like saying, well, what happens in my office, I don't have no control of, was his kind of attitude. But he could have reeled it in, and he could have said, hey, this isn't right. You know, this farm has constitutional rights to do their process. But no, he didn't. He said, my job is to defend the state. So, here he is. He's been detailed. He is part of the, uh, the governor's staff, right? And he's going to, def he's going to defend the governor. Because people who have had loved ones die or get very sick are suing the governor because you knew about it and you didn't do anything about it and they want the governor to hang. This attorney general is defending the state government. 
he is defending the governor. All right? But at the same time, he's going to run the investigation into what happened. So the investigation does what? It gleans data, hard data, that people who have been hurt by this action could use to sue the state. And now the Attorney General is going to be the choke point for that data. And to make even matters even more interesting, in light of everything that's going on in our country right now, this is, this is unbelievable that they would even put this in print, right? Maybe it's just me, but it says, Shooty has brought in two high-profile hired guns to help investigate Flint's water crisis and create a firewall as his office also defends the state in lawsuits brought by Flint residents. See? A firewall. So it's got to be this impregnable firewall that, yes, we're defending the governor against people who want to sue him, but we're going to do the investigation too. Conflict of interest, big time. Big time. That they would even put this out there, I can't believe it. I mean, you know better. But here's the high-profile hired guns he's talking about. Retired Detroit FBI chief, Andrew Arena, will help investigate and former Wayne County Assistant Prosecutor Todd Flood will serve as special counsel for the Flint probe. So these guys hired guns, high profile hired guns. We're going to bring in a guy that is a, a county prosecutor. So who's he work for? And a retired FBI chief. So I don't get the retired part. If the guy's retired, why are you bringing him in? Why don't you bring in somebody who's not retired? Retired means he's done working, right? But no, you're going to bring in... So what do we... Do we need FBI um, federal jurisdiction brought in here? Is that where this is going? Um, we see what happens when the FBI gets involved with things. Is that what Shooty's doing? Is Shooty actually pulling the same card that the governor out in Oregon pulled? The FBI card. Sounds like it to me. This is an attorney general that was hired by you, the residents of the state of Michigan. You voted this guy in. And he's going to defend against you when you've been made sick and some of you have died. He's going to work against you. And he can't do it on his own. He's going to bring in federal jurisdiction to do it. Nice. Nice. So, this is what's going on. I had to bring it to your attention. Um, I hope you will spread this far and wide. And, Mr. Shooty, if you'd like to talk to me about this, or have one of your minions talk to me about this, I welcome that. Um, but you know what? We're not going to be afraid to step up and stand up and say our mind, say what we feel. First Amendment guarantees me the right to free speech, and I'm going to use it. It's Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Anyone can farm.